<laughs> I'm like about to start crying. It's our last day here. Look at this, guys. Look at how awesome this looks. Think about that. It's beautiful. We were here for four nights. So we spent four nights and five days here um, in Marrakesh. And we got in on Tuesday, Tuesday night, and it was really late. And we had a taxi come pick us up at the airport. And a funny thing was, the taxi got us and then <laughs> drove us to a really sketchy spot. And then somebody else took us on a bike walking towards our Riyadh location. If you're not comfortable with like traveling, right? For one, you're gonna be freaked. You're gonna be freaked out because it's really weird and bizarre. Um, and also, if you're like a person like me whose mind is like thinking of all the conceivable possible scenarios, you're gonna be super nervous and like about to die. My heart palpitations were so real. It was it was it was freaky. Um, but I honestly recommend you come to Morocco. I've loved the experience here, and I am definitely coming back. I think this is gonna be me and my little brothers. Um, it's gonna be our new vacation spot for sure, because he like it's his first time traveling in general, and he loved it here. It was very relaxing, um, very secure, comfortable. You know, there was a little, there's certain things that weren't super great, but for the most part, overall, it's been five star experience, and. I hope you guys will enjoy the video and all the footage that I have um, here for you. Please let me know if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll give you as much information as possible, um, but anything I've missed, please leave comments down below. Here we are at the Marrakesh airport in Morocco. Um, it is approximately like 8, oh no, not 8, what am I saying, 11.20 p.m. We just arrived and we're waiting for our airport transfer and we're gonna go find it out there. Um, yeah, I'm Here's our Riyadh. This is my favorite part of it because our, our um, room is right here, um, one of those doors, and we're right by the pool and we have no ceiling, so it's beautiful, always hot and nice. So my brother is somewhere over here. Um, right now it's like 12.45 and we ordered, uh, we ordered our lunch here with the Riyadh because we didn't want to leave. Um, right away today, so we're staying. Yeah, I think I actually, and at night time I was kind of upset. I said, I was saying, what are we living in? Oh my god, are we living in some kind of a dungeon? But now I like it. Oh, poor connection. Let's get out of here. I have to go back upstairs. Mommy. All right, so now we're heading upstairs. shelves to get the nuts and the rest the shelves is food for animals especially the goats after that and this side you have this small kennel it's, uh, like uh, almonds but a bit of this with this kennel you can make two kinds of oil you have a cosmetic oil and edible oil to make cosmetic oil you keep the kennels in room that
so hot. There's poop, like literally huge poops everywhere. And we're just, we're just walking. Here I am right now currently at Bahia Palace here in Marrakesh, Morocco and I'm doing a tour um, and it's with uh, Urban Adventures and this has been phenomenal. This palace is gorgeous. Here we are um, at one of the courtyards and here's that view. It's phenomenal and if you literally look over there, there's palm trees. Berberman, Nice pictures. Here, like that. Yeah, fix here. Good 
Y'all, if you come to Morocco, here's my tips for you guys if you come, if you come to Morocco. Be confident, be fearless, and just barter the prices. The prices are always so high. Bring them down a bit, okay? Because they'll start you off real crazy and you might dish out for that. Please don't dish out. Wait and like talk about it and reason with it. And that's just the best bet, honestly. Always the best bet. Um, but yeah, like they have great, they have great stuff here. They really do. But it's just, come on, man, a thousand Durham. What am I? Am I made out of Durham? Like I'm not made out of Durham. Come on, boy. It's, it's rough, guys. This is really, yeah, it's pretty. A plus on that, man. You like it? A plus. <laughs> a plus. <laughs> yeah, because yesterday you. they prepared like right? So sometimes you don't know like which recipe. I like this recipe. I haven't tried. I haven't tried it yet, but I can tell I'm gonna like this recipe. Uh, and our sandwiches. Sandwich. Oh, great. Thank you. You want like the services, the fork and knife, or your? This Good is good. perfect. Yeah. Thank you. So we're having our last lunch here in Morocco, okay. and we wanted to do a tagine, but they didn't have it available today. So what we're eating now are sandwiches, and they look good too. Like they use the same Moroccan bread that they always use. They toasted it. You have the chicken here, lettuce, tomato. So El Hamam is in this stone room with like heated um, lamps apparently, like they're hanging from the wall and it's a stone room and there's like two sides of the room where you can lay down and so she laid me down on the left hand side and there was a mat there and she like first splashed some water on the mat where I was about to lay and she like poured it with a bowl from this huge sink with this beautiful, beautiful warm water. Yeah, it felt real good. It felt real good. So she pours it on there and then she asked me to lay down on my back. So I lay down on my back. Mind you guys, you come in there completely like naked. Like you're in your birthday suit completely naked. Um, and you just lay naked and it's fine. It's all We're all good. It's all Gucci, right? You're laying there. She starts pouring more water on you. And then she adds some black soap around your body to lather it all up, right? From head to toe. And it's just so great. So after she's done lathering you up, she'll step out and give you five minutes of just like laying there relaxing. And she comes in after five minutes, right? And then that's when the scrubbing starts. She has these scrubbing gloves and it's like exfoliation. It's amazing. And she's scrubbing you like super closely from arms to your chest area, you know, being really careful of your nipples because come on, right? And you know, also avoiding the inside of your vagina because that's just not okay, right? So she's not gonna clean down there. But cleaning the crevices, the sides of it, your legs, your belly, your feet, flips you over like a pancake, starts scrubbing the back part of your body, playing, you know, paying close attention to the booty, the butt cheeks. And it's not, it's not weird at all. Like it really wasn't weird. Um, it was actually, it was phenomenal. Um, and it was just a good experience. I think anyone who comes to Morocco should experience this. It does not cost a lot of money. Like, do we even have places like that in America that bathe you besides your mama when you were a kid, right? Like. I haven't been bathed since I was a child, so that was just a really nostalgic experience for me and really fun. Um, but yeah, guys, I highly recommend a hammam. Do it. You won't regret it. I promise you. It's literally been such a phenomenal trip. I've absolutely loved every moment here. Um, even the moments where they weren't so pleasant, I still feel super, super blessed to have had this experience, to have been in Morocco, um, to have met the people I've met and learned more about the culture. It has been like five stars.